A lot of people ask me how I do my church history research, so I thought I'd give an example here. Lesson one, having to do with Joseph Smith's statement about the Book of Mormon being the most correct of any book on earth. If you type it into Google, you notice the first thing that comes up is the introduction to the Book of Mormon that is in the every edition of the Book of Mormon that's published today. If you scroll down a little bit here, and you will see what Joseph had to say about this. Right here, it says, concerning this record, Joseph, the prophet Joseph Smith said, I told the brethren that the Book of Mormon was the most correct of any book on earth and the keystone of our religion, and a man would get nearer to God by abiding its precepts than by any other. Now the question is, did Joseph really say that? Well, if you look here, there's an article about the most correct book in the Ensign, which basically says Joseph said that, as the other articles do on here. But let's do a little research. Let's start with Fair Mormon. That's a go-to site for people that have questions about the church in general. They ask the question, is the Book of Mormon the most correct of any book on earth? And the first thing they say here is, uh, they quote Joseph Smith, and they say, in the history of the church, the book called, uh, the series called The History of the Church, the following entry is recorded as having been made by Joseph Smith on November 28, 1841. Here's the footnote. Let's click on the footnote. The footnote refers History of the Church, volume 4, page 461. So let's click on this link. See where that takes us. It goes to BYU Studies, where they have the history of the church in digital format. Notice they have the volume and the chapter number, not the page number, but I happen to know it's in chapter 27. So let's click on that one. You can see here is uh, page 460, page 461, Hiram Smith, and then it comes down here, the Prophet's Estimate of the Book of Mormon. And here is the date. 28th of November. Here is the statement in full. It says, I spent the day uh, in the council with the 12 apostles at the house of President Young, conversing with them upon a variety of subjects. Brother Joseph Fielding was present, having been absent four years on a mission to England. I told the brethren that the Book of Mormon was the most correct of any book on earth and the keystone of our religion, and a man would get nearer to God by abiding by its precepts than by any other. All right, that sounds pretty convincing. It's in the history of the church. What people don't realize is that the history of the church was actually um, compiled after Joseph died, at least most of it was, and certainly this part from 1841. Uh, I'll I'll point out another thing, too, here at BYU uh, Studies. They have several references that you can use. They have a charting the Book of Mormon. And the very first item in charting the Book of Mormon talks about Joseph Smith on the correctness and importance of the Book of Mormon. You click on that. It has the same quotation. Joseph Smith, 1841. Again, no citation. Well, this is a perfect example of why I recommend people stop using the history of the church. Uh, I've made that comment before to these guys over at Fair Mormon. Uh, but any anyone who's doing church history should not be quoting history of the church anymore. And I'll show you why. If you go to the Joseph Smith papers and you do a search for most correct of any book, search that, it'll pull up a reference. Notice the reference. It says history, 1838 to 1856. Then you click on that one. And sure enough, you can scroll down to it. You can see the original right here. This side of the Joseph Smith paper shows you the original um, book. And then the other side shows you the uh, text as it is readable today. Right here under November 28th, here's a quotation. The exact same quotation we had when we were over at the um, in the... Uh, Church history, right here. And so, again, that looks fairly convincing until we look at this little note right here. And the note gives us a reference for where the uh, this originally came from. It says, Wilfred, the Woodruff Journal, 
28th November 1841. It gives you a couple of places to look. You have the church history manuscript number. It's also available in Wolford Woodruff's journals, edited by Scott Kenny, published by Signature Books. I think they publish around 400 copies of those. So you have to go to, to find the physical copy. You have to go to a library. But let's look at the church history library and see if we can find this Wolford Woodruff journal. You go here, search the church history library for Wilford Woodruff papers. See what that brings up. <clears throat> right here it has Wilford Woodruff journals and papers, and that's the manuscript number that the citation in the Joseph Smith papers had. So we click on that. You want to view the finding aid for it. And here's Wilford Woodruff journals right here. Click on those. We want 1841. We click on that. We come over here, and what happens? Close to research. We've hit a dead end. So we either have to find the uh, hard copy in a library, or uh, some people have digital copies of it. I happen to have one in a Word document, so I'm going to bring that over and show you what it looks like. Here's the statement in the original journal from um, Wilfred Woodruff. And it's, it's the 28th of, of November on a Sunday, right here. And notice it's word for word what is shows up in the history of the church and in the introduction of the Book of Mormon on that page in um, UIU Studies. But this is in second person. This is Wilfred Woodruff writing, and he says, Joseph said the Book of Mormon was the most correct of any book on earth. Now, is this a direct quotation from Joseph Smith? I say it's not, and the reason is it's not in quotations. Now, if you look at my database here, this is just his volume two, but I can type in here and put question mark, and he, Wilfred Woodruff used 232 question marks in this journal alone, and so it's clear that he was, um, he knew when to use a quotation mark and when he didn't. These are specific quotations from Joseph Smith. But look at this again. If you, if you notice what the statement says, he spent the day in company with Joseph and the Twelve, the Brigham Young house, conversing upon a variety of subjects. And then Joseph said this. This is really just a summary of what he said. I'm going to circle these two statements so you can see again. Yeah, so we know exactly where this came from. And here's the other one. Here in the history of the church, it says, I told the brethren the Book of Mormon was the most correct of any book on earth. Direct quotation from the journal here of Wilford Woodruff. And the keystone of our religion, again. And a man would get nearer to God by abiding by its precepts than any other book. So what happened here is the compilers of the history of the church took Wilfred Woodruff's statement and converted it to first person and turned it into a quotation by Joseph Smith. But as, as I've shown, it's obvious that uh, Wilfred Woodruff never intended it as a direct quotation. It, instead, it was a summary of his teachings for the entire day. So I think we can do a lot of analysis of what this means, whether it's, you know, that the specific terminology, though, was not Joseph Smith's. It was just Wolf Woodruff's summary of the day's teachings. And I think it's important for us to, when we do church history, to make that distinction. And in my opinion, this shouldn't be showing up as a quotation from Joseph Smith in the introduction to the Book of Mormon. So there you go. There's an example of how I look up church history and how I try to figure out who said what and when and, and so forth. And that's our most correct book edition. Thanks for watching.